Hi everyone, this is Mason Christensen, and for this week's Dearborn Historical Museum history video, I'm going to talk about annexations. Back in 1929, when Dearborn and Forts had merged into one larger city, this whole annexation event was one of the biggest events in the area's history, as it created one larger city and really set the course for a different history for the area. The thing is, people in the city later on had bigger ideas and wanted to merge with more communities. So what I'm going to talk about today are several annexation proposals, three of the craziest ones that existed, and just talk about what they were and what could have happened if those cities had formed. Before I go into some of the really crazy proposals, I want to mention that there have been huge numbers of annexation proposals for Dearborn. And let's just say certain communities pop up quite a bit, like Allen Park, Melvindale, Dearborn Heights. Those cities pop up all the time in these proposals, especially Dearborn Heights. It's There's been different groups that have organized since the 20s to annex what is now Dearborn Heights to Dearborn. I mean, there, there have been proposals back around 1925. It was suggested that Dearborn, the old village of Dearborn, should be annexing all of Dearborn Township, including what is now the Warrendale area as well. But all these numerous proposals have died over time. So the first crazy annexation attempt I want to talk about dates back to the winter of 1932. At that point, the township supervisor of Dearborn Township proposed merging Dearborn, Dearborn Township, Inkster, in Nankin Township. This would be basically merging Dearborn with modern day Dearborn Heights, Westland, and Inkster. And his whole thinking with this is that, you know, the, the township government budgets are super strained in the early Great Depression. Uh, you have people having trouble paying taxes, a large number of people in what's now Dearborn Heights are basically, you know, receiving economic relief. Uh, the same is true with Inkster and other areas. You know, at one point later on in the 30s, Dearborn Township supposedly has only $500 in their bank accounts. Uh, you have Dearborn Township police officers being forced to be janitors and all the and firemen and all these other duties. So it's a rough time, even worse than what's going on in Dearborn for these communities like Dearborn Heights and Inkster at the time. And he's thinking merging with Dearborn just so these communities further out can get more a more stable cash flow from their government. A big reason why Nankin Township was included in this annexation proposal was because of Inkster. Uh, the township supervisor in Dearborn Township basically believed to have the state approve a merger of Dearborn Township and Dearborn, he needed Inkster to be included. But at the same time, because Inkster was split between Dearborn Township and Nankin Township, the state would never allow for uh, any split in the village. So. To have all this merger come through, he basically needed Nankin Township to be part of the merger area. As you can imagine, nothing really happened with merging Dearborn in Nankin Townships. Another proposal, though, that came out at the same time had Dearborn being merged with Melvindale, Allen Park, Lincoln Park, River Rouge and E Corps. This was first reported about the same time as the other proposal uh, in around February 1932 in a Wyandotte newspaper. Supposedly, this was being promoted by a bunch of business groups in the area, but it was never really outlining who was proposing this. But what it would have done is create a massive industrial city. You imagine today having, you know, the River Rouge factory in the same city with uh, the Great Lakes Engineering Works shipyard down in uh, River Rouge E-Course area. You would have had the U.S. Steel Works and E-Course being in the same city. So it would have been a fairly compelling and historically interesting city if this merger had happened. By far, however, the craziest Dearborn annexation proposal was in 1957 when Mayor Orville Hubbard proposed annexing 15 Wayne County townships, along with likely Allen Park, 
to Dearborn. This would have made Dearborn geographically several times the size of Detroit, and this would have covered modern areas much that would have included much of what is now Down River, uh, would have included areas like Canton, uh, you know, out in the Belleville area, uh, a lot of the more suburban areas out toward Plymouth and Northville as well. So this would have been an astronomically large city. He's even proposing Gross Eel to be part of this community. Uh, he sends, as part of this proposal, letters to all the township supervisors involved in this area. Most of them either don't really respond back or basically send angry st uh, statements to the media. The few that were really positive would be probably Taylor. You know, in, in the newspaper, the Taylor Township Supervisor basically was quoted as saying, we would absolutely love to join Dearborn. I'd love to get our community uh, included in this proposal. We'll definitely uh, ask voters in, on their April 1st ballot to see if they want to join Dearborn. Romulus also kind of made statements similar to that regard that like we like the idea of joining Dearborn, but almost everybody else it just wasn't that positive. You know, in Dearborn Township, basically the, this official said, we're close enough to Dearborn to read the picture. We know very well nobody in Dearborn wants to split up the, the revenue of the Rouge plant with all these surrounding communities around us. Uh, we know that the Dearborn Council would never go along with this proposal. So basically, Oral Hubbard, why are you bothering us with this idea? The same is kind of true with Allen Park. They're, they're basically saying that, but also they're saying right now at this point, we're trying to establish ourselves as, as a city as well. We feel like you're interfering with this process of getting a charter uh, passed. So please stop bothering us. Uh, the same thing too, they, they also sense that uh, Dearborn wants the valuable Continental Motors property, which was uh, near kind of the what is now the Hill Shopping Center. You know, they're sensing that Hubbard wants that as part of this merger. Um, they're also, one of the Allen Park officials was quoted as saying that if Hubbard wanted streamlined government for Wayne County so much, why doesn't he let his city get annexed by Detroit? Uh, I just found that quite amusing. But basically with Allen Park and Dearborn Township being so strongly against this movement, uh, really the whole proposal dies fairly quickly.